Hello everybody, Princess DeVere here. We're headed to Universal on the moving walkway, you know, like we do. Yes. Uh, four? Running late to go to Cowfish. It's been like over a year since we've gone. Yeah, it's probably my fault running late, but that's pretty normal. So we're gonna go fish for some cows. Be sure to enjoy the sushi, but make sure that it's only vegan sushi. Don't listen to her, but you heard the girl. <laughs> strawberry fig cocktail with St. Augustine vodka. I wanted the cowfish, which is like their signature drink, but unfortunately the sake in it is not vegan. Oh, this is good. This is a very delicious fig drink. I'm sad that it's small because I want to drink like four of these. I would give it um, three and a half out of five figs. Look at this beautiful, delectable fruit. Now I know I've complained a lot about having fruit in my cocktails. This is the right amount of fruit in my cocktail. It's above my drink and not swimming in my drink. What? Strawberry and figs sound like an awesome combination. It's nice with a glass. Nice and plasticky so I can't shatter it. I mean, they know me. Ooh. It's kind of like a... It's more strawberry form, it's got like the fig, it's like a nice little bite to it. Very much a cocktail, but without being harsh. And without being like over, overly alcoholic. It's like a sipping drink. You can do it out here in the sun, and you know, it shines and burns out my eyeballs. Three and a half out of five bucks. I'm scared for this, but I love framboise, but it's PB and J. And if you saw our Halloween Horror Nights vegan video, you would know how I feel about PB and J. It tastes weird. Syrupy, kind of. Mm, two and a half out of five PB and J's. Maybe it's because I, I'm, yeah. It tastes like syrup. It doesn't taste like alcohol, straight syrup. For the past year, two years now, maybe two and a half, I feel like everywhere I go, I see peanut butter whiskey, which to me sounds like the most terrible idea in the world. But when it shows up on a cocktail like an old fashioned, then you have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. So screwball peanut butter whiskey, Four Roses Small Batch Bourbon and Raspberry Framboise. And I love flavored jams my PB&J. Grape is boring. Get with the times. With a nice huge ball of ice. I have high hopes for this. Let's see how much it disappoints me. I definitely get the PB&J PB name out of it. It's still got the bitters of like an old fashioned. It's very thick. I'm wondering if that comes from the screwball because Four Roses is not that thick. And Framboise drinks like a beer, Framboise. So, very interesting consistency. It's definitely still a sippers drink. I don't hate it, but it might take some time for it to grow on me. Three and a half out of five plus. Some of you might judge me for doing this, but I apologize. I like my soy sauce to be spicy. I don't want to eat wasabi by itself. I've seen the movie Wasabi and I actually love it. It's one of my favorite John Reno movies outside of The Professional. But I am not Momo and I will not eat wasabi by itself. I'm sorry, I'm just not gonna do it. Now I have a beautiful vegetable roll. I'm gonna do a nice little dunk here. Nice little submergence. Cheers to you guys. Mm. Nice and crisp. And extremely 
fresh tasting. This is like... Cowfish is here, and Splitsville is like down here under the table. Super under the table. This, was, this is um, a very delicious vegetable roll, and I'm happy that I ordered it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five veggies. It's not as good as Tokyo Dining, but it is better than Splitsville. Now, unlike the princess, I will be providing no Tiger Woods style apologies for how we abuse sushi and soy sauce. This is American sushi. We're breaking all the rules anyway. Die mad about it. Fresh, fresh, perfect rice, perfect roll. I have literally no complaints. A nice bite all the way through. Doesn't feel like you're missing out on anything. Even with just being the veggies, the vegetable done right. Unlike some places, I don't know what it is. Like you're, if you're putting veggies in a roll, you make it taste good. It's not that hard. Three and a half out of five plus. These are sweet and spicy Thai cucumbers. I'm actually kind of excited for these. They're sweet. Slightly pickled. Okay, wait. Now I'm tasting the spicy. No spicy is there. It's faint. I would say it's maybe like a um, three out of ten on the heat scale. But it's very good. Uh, I would give this side dish a three out of five cucumbers. It's um, good. It, well, I don't have a pun. I'm sorry. I'm not witty right now. It's it's cucumbery and delicious, and I'm gonna eat it. Get my belly. Sweet and spicy, sort of like diced cucumbers. It's an interesting sort of like side appetizer, like there's some seeds in here. We have skin cucumber. I'm looking forward to this. Ooh. That is good. I all of a sudden want to know how this is made. A little tingle in the front of my tongue. I wouldn't call it spicy. I would call it spiced. With that hint of sweet, not overly sweet, to let the cucumber come through. Oh yes. This right here could be a snack for me. A healthy-ish snack. Four and a half out of five claws. Plant-based. That's a must-get. No bears go all in a fish. I am no exception. Excuse me, no tickle. But yes, they offered me a nigiri and sashimi combo. I went all in. Fish all the ways. Fish by itself. Fish on rice. Fish rolled in rice because I have no shame. Yogi would be proud of me. Nice delicious piece of the raw fish because the bear does like it raw. Brings back memories of a birthday with the princess years ago where she bought me a gigantic sushi boat. One of these days, we're gonna do another one of those on the channel. But I absolutely love fresh fish. That was amazing. It went down so smooth, nice and fresh. It doesn't taste like it was some refrigerator frozen mess. Now, serving it on the ice, with banana leaf. I'm just gonna try to keep it cold. This is Florida. This melts really, really fast. It's dragging out of the ocean here. Let's try a little bit of this salmon. Hmm. 
something really delicious. I'll give that whole plate, that side of plate, four to five points. Needs more. For what they're charging here, I understand it's theme park food, or theme park adjacent food. I expect the price, but I usually expect more for my money. Here we have the side of uh, a Big Owl's yellow fin. So it's just thinly sliced yellow fin with jalapeno. And when they say thinly sliced, they're not getting This is like deli meat thin. And this little like Hanzu dipping sauce here. Give it a nice little dip. Now for jalapeno, it's getting a bit more kick. Oh wait, wait, wait. There it goes. Okay. Back in the throat like most jalapenos. A four after on the spice scale. It doesn't last long. Uh, maybe a bit too thinly sliced. But not completely gonna have that pondu sauce is amazing though. I give that three and a half out of five plus. We have the the Gary here, doing great. Nice little bit of rice here. Thinly sliced fish. Again, super thin cuts of fish here. I'm used to a lot thicker. That three out of five pause. I see we were saving money here, and I don't like it. And we have a basic California roll. Nothing to write home about. If you only eat California rolls, I feel sorry for you. But I will have to say to join the princess and throw in the shade. Even though a California roll is miles better than anything we've ever had at Splitsville. If you eat Splitsville food, I feel even more sorry for you. Go to get real sushi. Three out of five balls. Let's cheat a bit. Take this right here. We're gonna dip it in this ponzu sauce. Because why let it all go to waste? Mm. That's a nice bit of sweet and citrus. Also three out of five cups. We'll get back in the salmon. I don't know what it is. Most people when you get the sushi, I know. It's like you go to buffet, they go for the salmon. They go straight for the tuna mostly. Also three out of five pops. I'm glad that you can get real decent sushi at City Walk, but I still think they're trying to skip us in the fish. Other than that, it's an above average. I continue to see why Cowfish is so popular. I really like the restaurant. I think the food is above par for City Walk. I think the drinks are amazing. Yes. I like the the design, the decor of the place. Even the freaky cowfish mascot that you sit on out front. Don't don't kiss or lick that thing, please. Please don't. Yeah. yeah. And weird. The, the watching the sunset from like the views, it was nice. I liked it. Yeah. Weird weird concept, but the food just works. And the drinks are banging, so I have absolutely no complaints about Cowfish. And I feel absolutely full considering like just a couple things that I ate. Yeah, I, I would definitely recommend for me, especially given the options here at City Walk. So I would say if you get the chance, definitely take it and go. Agreed. If there's anywhere else you think on City Walk is better, or even somewhere nearby, let us know in the comments. If there's anything else you'd like us to do around Orlando, that's going to be a place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear is just going to go eat sushi until he falls into a corner and collapses. I mean, I'd probably do that whether you commented or not, but you heard the girl.